Hi, I'm Mr. Burke. Welcome back to my introduction to Latin series. Today, we're going to be talking about third declension adjectives. Now, I suspect that sounds kind of scary, but let's just start with what we know about adjectives. And let's start by talking about first and second declension adjectives. The adjectives you've learned so far are either first and second declension adjectives or pronoun declension adjectives. And pronoun declension adjectives are very similar to first and second declension adjectives. An example of a first and second declension adjective is bonus bona bonum. We call bonus bona bonum a first and second declension adjective because it uses second declension in the masculine and neuter forms and first declension for its feminine forms. Look at this chart here. See how the masculine is us, e, o, um, o, e, o, rum, is, os, is, second declension. Feminine is a, uh, i, i, um, a, uh, i, r, um, is, as, is, first declension. And the neuter is um, e, o, um, o, a, uh, o, rum, is, a, uh, is, second declension, neuter variation. These are just the endings for bonus, bona, bonum, and it can describe a noun in any declension but it itself uses the first and second declension endings. For example, if we want to say of the good king, well, let's start with how we say of the king. King is rex regis, so the genitive singular is regis. Now, even though king is third declension, that's not what we're worried about. Adjectives do not match the nouns that they describe in declension. Adjectives match the noun they describe in gender, number, case. So we look at regis and we say that it is gendive, it is singular, and it is masculine. So if we look at our chart for bonus bona bonum, we go to the masculine column and we look for the gendive singular, boni. So boni regis is how we say of the good king. It does not matter that rex regis is third declension. What matters is that it's masculine singular gendive. And then if we want bonus bona bonum to agree with it, we need to take those coordinates, masculine singular gendive, and apply them to our chart for bonus bona bonum. Bonus bona bonum, follows the first and second declension endings, second declension for the masculine. Third declension adjectives have big charts, like the chart for bonus bona bonum, except third declension adjectives just use third declension endings. Here's an example of a third declension adjective. Fortis, fortis, fortet. Remember, an adjective dictionary entry gives me the nominative of the masculine, fortis, the feminine, fortis, and the neuter. Forte. So let's start by declining in the masculine column. The masculine nominative singular is given to us by the dictionary entry, fortis. The gendive will be fortis, using the is ending, forti, dative, fortem, accusative, forti, ablative. This is our one weird form. You would have expected forte, but instead you get forti. In the plural, fortes for the nominative, eum for the gendive, ibus, dative, ace, accusative, ibus, ablative. So you can see how this looks almost identical to third declension, but with that really weird ablative and that kind of weird gendive. Now we look at the feminine. The feminine is also going to decline using third declension endings, which means the feminine is identical to the masculine. The neuter will follow the third declension neuter variation. Remember, we have two neuter rules. Rule number one, the nominative will always match the accusative. Always, always, always. It's the one truth of the universe. Rule number two, the nominative and accusative plural will usually be a short a. Ah, so we get this. Forte, fortis, forti, forte, forti. Notice how forte matches forte. Fortia, fortium, fortibus, fortia, fortibus. Notice that it's ia, where you might have just expected a. This is a typical third declension adjective. So if I want to say of the brave king, I start with of the king, regis, and then I just now need to say brave. King is masculine gendive singular, so I'll look in my masculine column for the gendive singular and get fortis, fortis regis. If I want to say for the brave farmer, I'll start with for the farmer, agriculae. Remember that agricola, agriculae is first declension. And then I will parse it. It is masculine dative singular. So I look in the masculine column for the dative singular and I find forti. So agriculae forti or forti agriculae for the brave farmer. One last thing about third declension adjectives. Their dictionary entries will look different depending on how many different nominatives they have. Some third declension adjectives, like our word for swift, 
Keller have a different nominative for masculine, feminine, and neuter. Keller, Kelleris, Kellere. You can see from the whole chart, though, the only place that the masculine and feminine differ is that nominative singular, Keller versus Kelleris. Some adjectives, like the one we just learned, will have a different nominative for the masculine feminine versus the neuter. So fortis, fortis, forte, where the masculine and feminine both have fortis as their nominative, and the neuter has forte. And some will have the same nominative for all three genders. An example is our word for rich. Dewais, dewais, dewais. And then in this dictionary entry, it includes gendiv dewitis. In all three of these cases, the way you will find the stem on which to attach the endings is by removing the is from whatever form has the is. So for keller, kelleris, kellere, you can see that the stem is keller. For fortis, fortis, forte, you can see the stem is fort. And for dewais, 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 gendiv dewitis, you can see the stem is dewit. So the masculine declines dewais, dewitis, dewiti, dewitem, dewiti. In all this, the one weird thing about third declension adjectives is that the ablative singular ends in a long i. Other than that, this is just the third declension you already know. The gender plural eum is a bit weird, and the nominative and accusative neuter plural ia is a bit weird, but if you can remember that nominative and accusative plural are usually a, uh, the ia isn't gonna trip you up. And that gender plural looks an awful lot like um, the normal gender plural. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we talked briefly about third declension adjectives. Third declension adjectives are nothing to be afraid of. They are adjectives that follow the third declension. You can recognize them because rather than have that us a uh, um pattern or are a uh, um that first and second declension adjectives have, they have a pattern that somewhere in it will have an is. They have endings that follow the third declension and as always remember, an adjective needs to match the noun it modifies in gender number case, not in its ending. Till next time. Voila!